Ever wondered how to ace the ILTS reading section? It's a question that resonates with many language enthusiasts and ILTS aspirants around the globe. The reading section, often brushed aside as straightforward, can indeed be a game changer. It doesn't just assess your comprehension skills, but also your ability to analyze and interpret information, making it a critical component of the ILTS examination. The format? It's pretty simple. Three reading passages, 40 questions, and 60 minutes. That's all it takes to showcase your reading prowess. But, as they say, the devil is in the details. The reading section can be a labyrinth of complex passages and tricky questions, but fret not. Over the next few minutes, we'll be your guide through this maze, providing you with a step-by-step -step pathway to master this section. So, are you ready to embark on this journey? Stay tuned as we delve into the intricacies of the ILTS reading section. So, what exactly does the IELTS reading section entail? You might be pondering, let's lift the veil on this mystery and get to the core of it. The IELTS reading section is divided into three distinct parts, each designed to pose a unique challenge and test a different set of your reading skills. The section is a blend of various text types and a myriad of questions, so there's always something to keep you on your toes. Part 1 of the reading section typically presents two or three short texts. The topics are general and relevant to everyday life in an English-speaking environment. You might come across a text about local events, or a brochure describing tourist attractions, for instance. The questions here are usually multiple-choice short-answer questions, or perhaps filling in a diagram or completing a summary. Moving on to Part 2, you'll encounter two short work-related texts. These could be related to applying for a job, company policies, or maybe even office layouts. The question styles remain the same as in part 1, but the content becomes slightly more complex and specialized. Finally, we reach the third part, the most challenging one. This part presents one long complex text on a topic of general interest. The text is usually extracted from a book, magazine or newspaper, and can cover a wide range of subjects, from scientific discoveries to societal issues. The questions here are designed to test your understanding of the text, your ability to identify the writer's view, and your skill to spot specific information. The IELTS reading section is a real test of your reading muscles. It's designed to evaluate a wide range of reading skills. These include reading for gist, reading for main ideas, reading for detail, understanding logical argument, recognizing writer's opinions, and identifying the purpose of the text. Now that we know what to expect, let's move on to how we can prepare effectively. After all, understanding is the first step towards conquering. Preparation is the key to success, especially when it comes to ILTS reading. Let's dive into some effective strategies to prepare for this section. First and foremost, reading widely and regularly is of paramount importance. This doesn't mean you need to limit yourself to academic texts. Novels, newspapers, magazines and online articles are all fair game. The more diverse your reading materials, the better. This habit will not only familiarize you with a variety of writing styles, but also expose you to a broad range of vocabulary and phrases. Speaking of vocabulary, it is essential to continually work on expanding your word bank. Whenever you come across a new word, jot it down, look up its meaning, and try to use it in a sentence. Over time, this will help you understand and remember the word. It's not just about knowing the definition, it's about understanding the context in which the word is used. Now, comprehension skills are equally important. To improve in this area, practice summarizing what you've read. This will help you grasp the main ideas and details, which is crucial in the reading section. Also, make a habit of predicting what might come next in a text. This will keep you engaged and improve your understanding of the flow of ideas. Lastly, time management is a critical aspect of the reading section. The ILTS reading test is a race against the clock, with three sections to complete in 60 minutes. It's important to practice under timed conditions to get a feel for the pace you need to maintain. Remember, it's not just about reading the text, it's about understanding it and answering the questions accurately within the given time. To sum up, prepare well by reading widely and regularly, expanding your vocabulary, 
honing your comprehension skills, and practicing time management. With these preparation strategies in place, you're well on your way to acing the reading section. Now, here are some insider tips and tricks to give you that extra edge. The first secret to acing the EELTS reading section is to read the questions first. It's like having a map before you embark on a treasure hunt. This way, you know exactly what you're looking for when you read the passage. Next, be on the lookout for keywords. These are words that are crucial to the meaning of the question. They could be names, dates, or specific terms. They can help guide you to the correct part of the text. Another valuable strategy is using the process of elimination. If you're stuck between two answers, try to find reasons why one of them might be wrong. This can often lead you to the correct answer. Now let's talk about those tricky questions that seem to twist your brain into knots. The key is not to panic. Take a deep breath, read the question carefully, and then look for the answer in the text. Remember, every answer is there in the passage, you just have to find it. And lastly, time management. It's essential to keep an eye on the clock. Ideally, you should spend about 20 minutes on each section. This will give you enough time to read the passage, answer the questions, and even review your answers. Remember, practice makes perfect. So make sure you apply these strategies while practicing. And that's a wrap on the IELTS reading section. We've unpacked its structure, highlighted the necessity of ample preparation, and underscored the value of strategic practice. Remember, mastering true, false, or not given questions is a skill that can be honed with dedication and the right approach. The journey to ILT success is a climb, but with these strategies, it becomes more of a hike than a steep ascent. With these tools in your arsenal, you're ready to take on the ILT's reading section. Best of luck!